so we just came back uh, here in uh, 2024 from uh, Cuba. Just wanted to give you an update on what's happening there. There are now 10 churches in Cuba, and that's about 450 adults, not including children and teens, and they would probably have the same number. Our leaders there are Osmel and Lucy, and they've been great leaders for us. We just appreciate them greatly. Somos Osmel y Lucy, líderes apostólicos en Cuba. Damos muchas gracias a Dios porque hemos tenido una semana de éxito con nuestros líderes. Gracias porque han llegado en un tiempo donde han sido portadores de muchas bendiciones. Le damos gracias a Dios por cada persona, por el anhelo, el deseo de, de poder ayudar a Cuba. Their sense of humor was absolutely amazing. They're always joking with each other, having fun, you know, fr you know, fr almost like sibling ribbing on each other, um, just really having a good time. And when I felt like when they were teasing on you some, that means that you were really welcomed in. You have a lot of first generation leaders that are, you know, picking up the torch, but they're doing it really well. They're doing it humbly, they're serving, but they're also bringing up the next generation as well. Queremos agradecer a Dove International por haber estado en nuestras vidas, por haber llegado en un momento propicio. Han traído organización, dirección a nuestro ministerio, crecimiento, las enseñanzas. Some of the things that we've been doing has been uh, training in the Elders Book because now we have the Elders Book in Spanish. And so as we go there, the last couple of years, we've been walking through different chapters of that book. Uh, training them in developing leaders. And something that I love that they do is they have what they call mission churches. Now mission churches are those churches that they've sent out as church plants, but perhaps don't have a trained leader as yet or a lead elder. They still give oversight to them or the church that sent them out. Uh, so they're called missions. Uh, when they have a trained leader, then they become a partner church of the Dub Network in Cuba. I love how they do that. I love that they're church plant. Gracias, Adolf. Bendecimos a cada líder de cada nación donde haya una iglesia o dos en cada parte del mundo. Oramos por cada uno de ustedes y somos una familia. Cuba está abierta para las oraciones, para la ayuda, para todo lo que pueda ser de beneficio al cuerpo de Jesucristo. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Jesus, embrace the world. Right now, Cuba is going through some really difficult transition because of the inflation that's taking place there. It is a challenge for our brothers and sisters in Cuba. So I would ask that you please pray for them and, I, and, and uh, speak encouragement over them uh, and declare provision for them.